Among the many letters and diaries in the Nantucket Historical Association's manuscript collection is the journal kept by Susan Veeder as she sailed with her husband, Captain Charles A. Veeder, on a whaling voyage aboard the ship Nauticon from September 1848 to March 1853. The ship sailed around Cape Horn to Port Sinchili and then to Hawaii, Tahiti, and as far north as the Fox Islands in the Arctic. On board, she filled the journal with meticulous observations of her experiences and painted beautiful watercolor panoramic views of the ports of call as seen from the Nauticon's deck. The journal records the full range of shipboard events, from the whale hunts and shipboard accidents, crew mutinies, and the exchange of supplies and gossip with passing ships and local peoples, to the birth of Veter's daughter, Mary Frances, in Talcahuano, Chile, in January 1849. After several months on shore, she and the baby rejoined her husband. All was well until March of the next year, when catastrophe struck. In her journal, Susan Veter records the tragic event. Tuesday morning, our babe did not seem very well, and as we expected to go to sea the next day, we thought we would call in a physician, as she was teething and might need to have her gums lanced. So we called in a Dr. Johnson. He came and said nothing was the matter but a little cold, and he gave her a powder to take then, and left one for me to give her at bedtime, which I did, and put her in a warm bath. But at three o'clock in the morning, she was taken convulsed, and we very soon see that there was no hope for her recovery. We sent immediately for a physician, and everything was done that could be done, but all in vain. She was poisoned, no doubt by taking the second powder. What can be done? What can be done? was all that we could say. The threat of losing our babe was more than we could bear to think of. She was a fine child, too good to live, and at 11 o'clock a.m. she breathed her last. What shall be done with our darling was the next question with us both. Could we think of burying her at Tahiti? No, we could not. We must take her with us away. So we have had a lead coffin made and the corpse embalmed to take home with us. Mary Frances Veter's remains lie buried beside those of her mother in Nantucket's Newtown Cemetery.